What is good YouTube? It is your boy JR4. Welcome back to another Warzone video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the nuke in Warzone. You don't know how many comments I get, how many whispers, how many DMs, how many people in my chat spamming me. Hey yo JR, can you please help me get the nukey? JR, I'm at a, I'm at a 2 out of 5 game win streak. Can you please help me? Listen bruh, I ain't got time to help you all, so I'm dropping this video right here to show you how to get the nuke. Now before we get on with the little tutorial, be sure to be subscribed if you aren't already if you want to see more tips and tricks more meta loadouts more wars on three content you better hit that subscribe button right now and also leave a like on this video while you're at it yee and here we go ladies and gentlemen this is how to complete the nuke in Warzone 3 real quick before we get started to even get this contract as you can see on my screen right here to even get the contract you got to win five games in a row or 30 wins in the season starting with season two all your previous wins don't matter starting in season two alone in br you know battle royale solos duos trios quads you can get two wins in a row in solos hop into duos get the third win as long as it's in battle royale on urzikstan okay so yeah like i said five wins in a row which is pretty difficult to do i'm not gonna lie it does require a lot of luck if you don't have you know a top tier team if you don't have a top tier team then i recommend just doing intel contracts that usually works out for you you know if you know where the last zone is going to be you know where the last building is just camp there for the rest of the game right but like i said you can also get 30 wins in the season it doesn't have to be 30 in a row it doesn't have to be five in a row just 30 wins total in the season and you can get a nuke contract so nowadays the nuke contract is pretty viable to get you just need to put some time in and you can easily get those 30 wins all right now this is like a little tip number one once you have the nuke contract as you can see you want to make sure your contracts are in the zone it doesn't have to be center zone but as long as it's in a good spot you know sometimes we do a new contract and it'll spawn out here but you don't want it spawned outside you want it to spawn inside the zone so since these contracts spawned inside the zone <laughs> we're gonna pick that ass up I know a lot of people are confused about how the contract works. Let's say I'm playing in quads. You know, I'm playing with these group of four right here. We get the five wins in a row. We all get our own contract. But let's say I were to pick this contract up, then my contract is gone. You know, whether we win or lose, my contract is gone. However, they still have their three. All right, so as you can see, my teammate Daddy Chill is about to pick up the contract. Now, once this contract starts, you're in it, okay? You want to make sure you get a whole bunch of vehicles off the rip. We kind of messed up our land right here because we were going for money, but honestly, you do not need money. What you want to do off the rip is land and get some vehicles. You want to get an armor truck, the LTV. You want to get a Hummer, maybe even a chopper, but honestly, the, the best vehicle to use is the armor trucks, the LTVs. I ain't gonna lie, you're probably gonna need to get two people to get their own separate LTVs, and we'll come to that later once we pick up the first element. So yeah, once you start the champion's quest, you want to make sure that, you know, one guy gets the contract and everyone else gets vehicles. You do not need to loot up off the rip. Like I said, you do not need to loot off the rip. Once you get the first element, it's literally going to drop you like $25,000. So you can easily get a loadout. You can easily get some supplies. As you can see, I got a quick kill right here. I told my boy to come pick me up because we're about to go head to that first element. A good thing about the doing uh, the nukes in a war zone uh, three is you can do them instantly. You don't have to be waiting to like the third zone because, you know, once you pick up the first element, it pings you on the map. You can do these nukes, you know, like a speed run, basically. But I'm not going to lie. The biggest way to actually complete a nuke is luck. And you'll see how luck plays into a factor in this game. But yeah, we're on our way to pick up the first element. Now, the first element is BE. BE is the one that pings you on the map. It might even ping you through walls, like if you're holding it. But BE is definitely the hardest element to control, especially, you know, when you got the whole lobby chasing you. But what we're going over right here is uh, we're going to pick up a Geiger counter. But look at this. See? That's living proof right there. Let me rewind it real quick. To get BE, you got to pick up like some tracking device or whatever. So uh, we pull up to the spot. Watch this. Look how much money it drops. Look how much money it drops. Look at all that cash. Are we playing plunder or what? This is why I said you do not need to worry about looting up. Because once you pick up the Geiger counter, you're going to get all that freaking stash. All right. So as you can see right here, I picked up a Geiger counter. It drops four of them you know because we're in quads or whatever the guy your counter like i said it's like a tracking device to find the first element be as you can see right here on the map it's the uh, be is hidden in this little green circle so you're gonna want to use the geiger counter to just go try and uh, find it it's pretty easy to do no lie so yeah once we picked up that geiger counter and we got the money as you can see we're about to get a loadout and get our supplies right here i'm currently with the three of my two of my boys i'm with franklin and daddy chill and together we have like so much money already so we can easily get you know a loadout we can get an armor box you know munition box we can get streaks off the rip just because of getting that little first element so they low-key did make the nuke a little easier you know by giving us all this cash but as you can see since we haven't officially picked up the first element yet we haven't you know used the tracking device to go find it the other elements haven't spawned in the elements spawn in back to back once you pick it up 
once you pick it up they spawn in but they each have their own little quest their own little challenge to do and we'll get to that later so yeah we get our loadout we're ready to go vibe got the armor box throwing it down you know we got so much cash so we can get so much supplies all right now we're on our way to pick up be once you use the little geiger counter it tracks you you find a chest and this is the chest this is how it looks as you can see radioactive container this drops not only does it drop be but it dropped a whole bunch of cash as you can see look at all this money just from picking up the first element when you pick up the first element alone, you get so much cash, bruh. So much riggedy ratchet. I just, I just picked up 12,000. But yeah, once you pick up BE, that is when you are officially pinged on the map. That is when everyone in the lobby can tell that you are doing the new because they see you, you know, on the radar. They can literally see you through walls if you are holding the element. So the best thing to do, like I said, is to hop in an armored truck and just drive around the map. Don't even worry about the other little parts of the nuke. So you want one guy who's pretty good at driving, who knows the map well, to be the guy holding BE and just driving around trying to survive. I am the Rat Lord, so obviously I'm going to be the one that holds BE since I know how to survive, I know how to out camp, I know how to out rat the rats in Warzone 3. So yeah, we're in an armored truck. As you can see, we're already getting chased. Let's just pause it right here though. So I'm currently with my boy Daddy Chill and our other two teammates are doing the nuke. They're, uh, they're trying to get the second element. And to do the second element, you got to do a safe cracker. Now, since I don't have, you know, POV of me doing the safe cracker because I'm doing BE, I'm going to show my boy Dr. Disrespect. I would show Tim the Tap Man, <laughs> but he was spectating during his nuke. So as you can see right here, Dr. Disrespect, they're getting the little drill safe. You got to drill this safe. You basically just got to wait like almost a minute, maybe a minute and a half, maybe even two minutes, but it's going to drill this little safe, like a little uh, challenge, a little mini game. You don't got to do anything. You just got to wait for it. And then it officially drops the second element. As you can see, it dropped T. In Warzone Season 2, in Warzone 3 Season 2, it goes from BE to T to PU. It used to be BE was first, then you get PU, and then you get T, but now it is B, then T, and then PU is from the shooting the chopper. But the T element, what this does, you know, BE pings you on the map, but the T element disables your vehicle. So you can't be using a vehicle, it, it's like an EMP device. You have to be on foot while holding T. The good thing about this element though is that it does not ping you on the map unlike BE. PU and T do not ping you on the map. So since I'm holding BE and I'm pinged on the map, my other two teammates can easily get the other elements by themselves. You know, since they're not being tracked, they can easily just do the little quest, do the little challenge without the whole lobby chasing them since the whole lobby's targeting me. As you can see right here, I'm still driving around my uh, armored truck is already almost destroyed you want to make sure you know where like the nearest gas stations are but you don't want to stay there too long but you do need to make sure this armored truck is repaired but yeah you want to make sure your armored truck is at full health because you will be getting pulled up on by multiple teams multiple vehicles you already seen the chopper pull up on us trying to take us out we already got hit look with a motor strike we got hit with a motor strike from probably across the map but uh, you also want to ping other vehicles on the map in case you get destroyed. You know, a lot of people like to use snipers so they can snipe out the, the tires. They can uh, destroy the vehicle pretty easily. I'm not going to lie. So that's why it's best to use an armored truck. Even just driving around the map, you'll like randomly run into people. Look at all these people just chilling in the middle of the field, bruh. You're lucky I'm holding this element. You're lucky I need this vehicle. Otherwise, I would run that ass over. But we're going to keep on pushing. The teammates are still doing the safe cracker. As you can see, it does take a while to get that second element. And like I said, the second element is T, which disables vehicles. So if you're holding the T element, you got to stay on foot. All right, so teammates finally acquired the second element after doing the safe cracker thing. So after they got the second element, the chopper already spawns in. Now, as you can see right here, there is a chopper on the map. Uh, basically, to get the third element, you have to shoot the chopper out the sky. Now, the chopper does have increased health in Season 2 in the little Season 2 update since they uh, try to fix the nuke and you know they switch the two elements the chopper has increased health and the chopper does appear on the map for everyone else so you do have to be careful so yeah we're gonna go back to dr disrespects pov as you can see right here this is what the chopper looks like once you pick up the second element t which is what they also did the chopper automatically spawns in now you also have to be careful with these little challenges these little quests because you can pick up be on this side of the map and then pu the little safe cracker will spawn on the complete opposite side so you want to make sure you always have vehicles on lock at least a fast vehicle a chopper a ltv armor truck a hummer you want to make sure you always have vehicles because these challenges you know it is luck like i said the elements do spawn across the map at times so you want to make sure you do have a vehicle because look dr disrespect they got lucky bro the chopper was right there next to him 
but uh, other times the chopper will be across the map which does make it a little difficult you know a little time consuming once the elements you know get in the zone the the challenge is over so you want to make sure you always have the elements you want to make sure you're always next to the elements and you want to get them done in a timely manner but yeah to get the third element like i said you got to shoot out the chopper and it's going to drop the element and also enemies can also end up shooting the chopper and, you know destroying it as well all right but here we go back to rpov i'm still driving around with the vehicle my teammates are on their way to go destroy the other chopper this vehicle is pretty low health so i'm about to go pull up to this other armor truck you know you want to make sure you're looking at the map that's why it's best that i'm with the a teammate so they can also be looking at the map while I'm driving because you can't be driving and looking at the map at the same time so uh, we hopped into a new armor truck we're getting freaking spammed by other people we're dipping bro the hardest part of this nuke I'm not gonna lie is BE like BE is tough to do but I have seen some people just drop it on the map I'm not sure if it pings on the map if it's on the ground because you know that is pretty crazy to do if it does ping on the map because if you just drop be then other teams can just camp it so it's best to, like in my opinion to have be but to be driving around the whole time it's best to always like drive on the edge of the map if you're on the edge of the map then everyone else you know has to like push together at the same way that way they'll all end up fighting each other if you're on the edge of the map so yeah it's best to just stay in a vehicle drive on the edge of the map if you are holding be because you are pinged for the whole lobby to see so yeah we headed over to another gas station to repair our armor truck there's also another one right here like i said the more vehicles you have the better the more vehicles you have the better armor trucks definitely the way to go it's got increased health more health than all the other vehicles but as you can see there are still 70 people alive that is a lot of people in the lobby so when you're doing the nuke like i said you do have to get lucky <laughs> Because even though there's 70, it might be a bot lobby. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that luck is on your side. You want to make sure you get a bot lobby. As you can see, I do get stuck right here. So I have to like drive around. So you want your driver, whoever's holding BE, they got to be locked in, bro. They got to be the number one driver, <laughs> like your boy. They also have to know the map. But as you can see, look, we got a vehicle pulling up on us. So we got to get the hell out of here, bro. Teammates still haven't taken out the chopper yet, but I believe they're on their way. Yeah, they're right next to the chopper shooting it out. Once you pick up all three elements, once you pick up all three elements, I just hit my glasses. Once you pick up all three elements, that's when the nuke device actually spawns in. It doesn't like spawn in, you know, like how it did in Warzone 2 where it spawns in, you know, like the fifth or fourth zone. It spawns in once you pick up all three elements. And to get the elements to spawn in, you have to pick up the uh, the previous one. So we're driving around still. We got people just randomly in the open hills trying to shoot us out. Teammates, I believe, destroyed the chopper. So now they're about to pick up the third element, which is PU. Like we said, PU damages you. It's like a little toxic device. You know, you're always going to be coughing. And you're always going to be slowly losing health when you're holding PU. All right, so since my uh, armor truck just got disabled, as you can see, getting shot by the whole lobby, my teammate had another one, so I just hopped right back in there. Bomb sites now getting revealed since we hold all three elements. But like I said, since I'm holding BE, the whole lobby is coming for me. We got 70 people still alive in this lobby. So I hopped in the teammate's armor truck. It got destroyed immediately because the whole lobby is just targeting us. You know, they always target the people who are holding BE. Also, the lobby can see, like, the nuke device. When it spawns in, the nuke device does ping for the whole lobby to see, you know, the chopper or the plane comes in, drops it off. The whole lobby knows where the nuke device is going to be. So you want to make sure, you know, you get there in a timely manner and you want to take them out because they will be camping it. But since I'm holding BE, the whole lobby is coming after me. Luckily, there was a vehicle nearby, so we just ran right to it. We almost got caught lacking. We got people landing on us. We got choppers pulling up. BE is the hardest part of this nuke only because it pings you as you can see i'm on the edge of zone i'm nowhere near the nuke device but uh your boy did some crazy rat lord tactics as you can see i drove in the zone drove on the highway and now i'm freaking clear bruh w driving number one driver in the chat but we're not out of here yet the car got disabled immediately, bro. We got a chopper pulling up on us. Luckily, these boys are literal AI because what is this guy doing? <laughs> You're literally free, so free, buddy. We're getting precision. We got choppers landing on us, bro. I'm getting looked at by the whole lobby. BE is definitely the hardest thing about this nuke. Like, I don't know what this chopper guy is doing, bro. He tried to run me over because, like I said, it pings you. It's like, a, it's like they got wall hacks. When you're holding BE, it pings you for the whole lobby to see. But like I said, you want to make sure you have a nice, solid team when you do this nuke. Because as you can see, luckily, my teammate is coming to pick us up. We're low-key in a very bad spot right here. But my teammate, he has a vehicle. That vehicle can also drive in the water. I'm getting sprayed out by the whole lobby. He easily comes in, scoops us, and we can go head to that nuke device. So yeah, this nuke is pretty hard. It does take some skill. It does take some luck. 
but it is still oh doable. God. So yeah, we're heading to the nuke device. As you can see, my teammates already inputted the other elements. It's easy. All you got to do is go up to the nuke and just press square. It doesn't take that long. However, when you try to arm it, it does take a while. Now, this gets hectic right here. This gets crazy. Let me turn it up. As you can see, when we pull up to the nuke, they're already camping there, bro. Watch this. Watch this. Let me see. Look, there's a guy camping right here in the corner, bro. He's already sitting right there guarding the nuke device. So that's why you always want to smoke it. Always smoke the nuke. They're throwing semis. They're throwing everything, bro. It does take about 11 to 12 seconds to arm it. But you want to make sure you know you got prox mines, you got lethals. That way you can hold it down. And smokes as well. Smokes do make it easier. Teammates trying to arm it, but he gets precision air striked. This is tough. This nuke is pretty tough, man. No cap. All right, so I smoked it. I'm arming it. Like I said, it takes about 11 to 12 seconds to arm it. It takes about 10 seconds to defuse it. I get precision, but we're going to hold it out. Hold it out, JR. The nuke device is armed. It takes two minutes to blow up. The good thing about doing the nuke in Warzone 3 is that even if you die, the nuke, like once you arm it and you die, the nuke can still go off and you can still win. But uh, it wasn't like that in Warzone 2. But like I said, in Warzone 3, if we were to die right now, the fact that we armed it, we still have a chance of it, you know, blowing up and uh, completing the nuke. But I'm going to let you watch this end game right here so you can see what goes on. That immunity, throw that shit down. Hey, get on, get on, get on. I can't see on it. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. I'm clear, clear, clear. Back up, back up. No, man. Do we have immunity? No, no, no. no They're on it. I got him off, I got him off. Oh. Get back, get back in, get back in, get back in. Crack one. You got the stats right here. He's hurt. Close right. Watch, watch These boys watch are all just going for that shit. I got the minis, I do minis, I do minis. Someone go down them. On it, on it, on it, on it. I got two. He's having to be swarming down them. Where, where, daddy? Inside, inside, first floor. Right here, son. Right here, son. Okay, okay. The line, I'm here, son, bitch. On the bomb, on the bomb, on the bomb. Good, dude, dude, dude. Good downs, under. My god, he was defusing. He was literally defusing it. Nice, nice. 20 seconds. Uh, he's landing in. No, he's landing in. He's hurt. Up top, up top. Keep smoking and staying on. Keep sticking. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. After 10 seconds, it's, it's no longer. Oh, I need mean, him. Oh, 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 oh,